Hey there again. Uh, the last one in this session of the quick tour around um, what's in Reason Essentials. The next tutorial will go on to take the individual units, probably just starting at the top of the list with, let's see, I can't even remember what is at the top of the list. Um, it's right, the read run computer. So um, we'll start doing some tutorials on the individual machines and devices themselves and um, go into some more detail about how they work. But what we were talking about in the last tutorial was this audio track, just to quickly um, finish it off. Uh, you can you can stack in as many devices as you as you as you can um, get your head around. Really, it's pretty much unlimited. With it being a piece of software, there's there's no losses to worry about in impedance of cables, daisy chain for miles and miles. Um, there's no sort of internal uh, problems causing uh, problems by chaining multiple items together that might not be compatible or uh, lose signal over over a number of units patched together. Um, everything's done within the computer digitally so it's it's pretty much no restrictions on how many pieces of kit you can put in, in here. Um, certainly no restriction in the software and just because it's reason essentials it's it doesn't have anything daft like uh, a limit on the number of any particular item that you can use. Um, so altogether pretty much unlimited permutations and combinations really. So I can um, add in a distortion unit here and then another distortion unit. Um, and that's Initialize those patches. Let's, have a look. Let's just take them out of them and pull together. I can switch them, bypass them off. Get rid of that noise. Um, they're, they're interacting together. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it for the rack then. Um, in terms of its capabilities, uh, we'll come on to do some tutorials about the individual items later, but quickly just to have a quick look. I'm not going to spend too much on the mixing console and the sequencer because I'll, I'll come on to those in detail in future tutorials, especially on, on, on the mixing console itself. Uh, but very quickly, you have these master faders for each of the channels. So audio track one we were just looking at, that's the channel insert for um, that audio track and you have a master fader uh, it's a stereo signal um, we can pan it left and right and change the stereo width of the signal using this uh, potentiometer here um, we can send to various FX sends and returns. If I take you back to the rack and take you up to the master, those FX patches are, if I flip that round, these four here. So the sends are from these connectors here, one, two, three, and four, and the returns are these, one, two, and three, and four. Okay, so that's in, in the master section which goes back to the de desk so if if i was to take this screen unit here um, let's unplug that from whatever it's plugged into and i'm taking that to the send there and the return via back in in FX return one. If I now flip back round to the front, go go to my mixing desk. You can see now that the screen one is in on FX one. Okay, so 
back to the rack just to recap flip it round the back we've sent it out fx send one here fx return here and back to the mix that comes in on this channel here so for any of these um, channels that I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with in my mixing console I can then send the signal say from this read drum to that effects through the master unit that will send anything coming in here um, I could send that one that one and that one for example to the screen unit I can change globally the level that that gets mixed in I can globally pan how that affects um, the left or right channel on stereo uh, channels I can set the individual levels as to how much gets sent to that effects patch from from the mixing desk as I say I'll do a, a future tutorial which goes in, into the mixing um, console in a, in a lot more detail but just quickly to 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 um, recap things I can add in a let's just take something from a patch so I've added in an effect in this channel called body and punchy snare now that that is an effect which is additional to this these effects that I've sent here so if I go to the edit key here that will take me to the rack and show me where those effects bits and bobs are and you'll see that they're in the, the read room mix channel and it's automatically added in an equalizer a compressor uh, and a maximizer so these effects here and if I flip round to the back it's patched those all in correctly so if, if you don't want to get bogged down with, with patching these in you can just select uh, an effects for, for a particular channel and it will put everything in the right place now you can either do that in the rack if you're more comfortable working with the rack or some people just do everything from the mixing console um, and they can have their own patches set up and just add effects to a particular channel and not even even have to worry about how the the racks being set up because you know if you're a producer you can just imagine if you like that you've got some engineer running around plugging in all the bits on your uh, rack for you and all you need to worry about is is just looking at the console and know that it's all it's all done for you if, if that's the way you want to work personally i like to sort of see see what's going on back over at the rack um, but you know it's horses for courses and it just demonstrates how versatile the whole package is really um, quickly coming on to the sequencer I think the best way to do that is to probably show you something what have we got that's handy oh, okay this one here um, this has a rack which is just stuffed with synthesizers I, I just had a it's something that I've, I've always wanted to do <laughs> There's drum machines in there and all sorts but if, if we go to the sequencer you can see that there's all these channels and they've all got MIDI um, I think they're all MIDI there are no audio channels on this one um, and let me just play you a bit of, of what's going on here <laughs> You can see that the, I'm actually 
able to change the tempo as this goes along. That's done in this transport section here. So if we have a look at that in a bit more detail. So they're all my MIDI